Gentlemen. Dave. Hey. What's up, Dave? Dave, the last time you and I spoke, we were, I was at Kiss in Dallas. We were in a recording studio. You were playing some tracks for us. And uh, there was a reporter there that looked at you. And I always tell this story. They said, who was your influence? And stuff like that. You looked at the whole room. Wasn't me that asked that. Dave looked at the room and he goes, man, I was in effing, you use the word, Nirvana. And the whole room clapped <laughs> and cheered. Brother, I will never forget that. And Taylor, last time you and I were together, we were at Rainbow on Sunset. So good to see you again, brother. Hey, oh, good to see you. hey love that place. Best pizza in town. Dude, best pizza, bro. Nate Romney, we got to pick it up. Oh, uh, the little fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms. Oh, they Dude, got good wings, is, too. It's legit. All right. I'm glad you guys are together because by a show of hands, tell me, who likes scary movies? Uh, yeah, dude. See, notice my hand didn't go up. I'm like a chicken s <laughs> when it comes, dude. I am terrified, but from scary. But you movies, didn't think I, that? Did you think this movie was scary? Were you scared? I was scared. Well, I laughed a lot. Um, <laughs> but I, because I got through it, and I was laughing. And I know that while not a true story, Will Forte was not, you know, dropping off demos for you guys with ranch dressing. But there is some truth, David, am I right, that you recorded, you know, uh, Medicine at Midnight at a house and there were weird things going on? What's up with that? Well, okay, so basically, at the whole this goes back like three years. We've been on this for like almost three years now. About three years ago, as we were starting to write the music for Medicine at Midnight, this friend of mine texts me and says, hey, I just got out of a meeting and these people want to make a horror film with the Foo Fighters. And I'm like... That's the stupidest thing. Why would we ever do that? That's so dumb. There's no way we would ever make a horror film. So then we start writing and demoing stuff for Medicine at Midnight, and we rented out this big old house, which is the house in the movie. So we started doing demos there, and then I'm like, oh, my God, we've got this house. We should – let's make a horror film. Let's do it. So we made the, the movie Medicine at Midnight – or the album Medicine at Midnight in this house, and then we took two weeks off. Put, moved all the cameras in and then made the movie. But we told everybody, we were lying, we told everybody that we made the, the album in a haunted house because we were setting up this movie. So the, the house is totally not haunted, but we told everybody it was. It actually doesn't exist anymore. I know, and then they tore it down. The house is gone, man. Nap. I wonder so, why. Yeah, Taylor, so nice. <laughs> right? Just Taylor, was anybody injured while making Studio 666? <laughs> Uh, was anybody in? I don't think anyone got hurt. I don't think anyone got no. hurt. I was strung up in a harness that like squished my balls for about 45 <laughs> minutes. Other than that, I think we're, we got off like scot-free. Well, and I was going to say, Rami, it's almost like I was feeling sorry for you in this particular film because you, everybody, you know, no spoilers, but Rami, it seems like you really, you know, you, you took a lick in here, bud. Am, am I right when I say that? Yeah, but look who I got a lick in with. Hey. Right? Hey. 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 Nate, do you think that acting is something you want to continue doing? or, or, just, or what, It was super fun. And like 26 years of being in the band, it's probably the most fun thing that, we, that we've done. And, you know, I scraped by. Nate's got but the But I, I had no aspirations to move beyond. He's got the chops. Nate's got the he chops. He's the got jump. the itch. But don't encourage him, okay? We have this other job we need to do yeah. for a little while. I mean, my right. agent says that the calls aren't really coming in. but <laughs> Yes. Uh, the movie's not out. Oh, there we go. Nobody's seen it. See? Yeah. Hey, Dave, what do you think And when you hear a Foo Fighters song like on the radio? I hear your music all the time. And congratulations on everything signs. you guys have built in your career. But <laughs> what, what did you no, say? I mean, he goes dollar signs. I mean, honestly, when I hear one of our songs on the radio, it, I immediately go back to the day that we recorded it. Like, uh, I always remember the time and the place and what it was like to make it and uh, the amount of work we put into it. I, that's really or how I was writing the lyrics. Like best of you, I wrote those lyrics on in my garage, sitting on a concrete floor, like smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee. Like so, I I, I have more of a like a very um, sort of vivid memory of the making of those songs. Well, as a fan, I look to see you guys on the road. I'm going to try to make a couple of shows because I, I I love you guys. And can can we end on a Pearl Jam pose? Is there any way that we could do that? Pearl like, Jam high Pearl five Jam high five. Pro yeah, there it, there it is. There it is. That's right. right. Jeremy is fucking spoken. <laughs> Dude, and I know again, no spoilers, but you know why I did that. I love it. Love you guys. Seriously. Saw you at the Cal Palace years ago with Nirvana, Dave. Wow. Anyhow. Oh, my wow. God. Yeah. When I worked How old are you? Those were yeah. the days. That was a good show. 21 plus tax is what I tell people. <laughs> ah. Guys, take care. Be safe, and I'll see you on the road for sure. All right, okay? Dave. See you, man.